Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from Los Angeles. Welcome to the Call of Duty Championship presented by Xbox. I'm Chris Bucket, joined in the booth by my good buddy Fliz. We're Fliz, in this, baby. We are We're in this. Another million dollar tournament from Call of Duty. This time 2014, Call of Duty Ghost. I am pumped. 32 teams from all around the world. It's going to be a good time. Million dollar prize pool. The best yeah, squads from bucks. six continents yes. here. Yes, $400,000 for first place. It, That's like, that is quite the paycheck this weekend. It's the biggest yeah. tournament of the year for yeah, yeah. anyone in first person shooters on the console. I know, man. We got to get Umu back on it, man. We got to get outside of our search and destroy grind and start playing these respawn games. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All Woo. right. So it's going to be an incredible weekend. Fwiz, uh, we, of course, want to be interacting yes. with the audience as much as possible this weekend. What are we doing on social Look, media? So you can hashtag COD Champs. Give us your conversation. I have people tweeting me like they're set up watching, which was pretty exciting. I obviously got some interesting pictures out of that as well. Uh, COD Esports, follow that, and then Call of Duty as well. And then what's going to be fun, we've never done this before in the championships, you're actually going to be able to like vote for the teams using their respective hashtags. Right. It'll come up down low when we actually do the matches. You'll see, you'll know how to do it. But they can hashtag, and then we can see, we can ask the audience like who they think is going to win. So, I'm uh, pulling, man. That'll be get, that'll get interesting depending on what time zones and what teams are playing and uh, seeing if, you know what which country shows up and I I'm looking forward to that. You know, it's really early in the morning here it on is. the West Coast. It it's noon on the East Coast yeah. and over in Europe, it's early afternoon. Yeah, We're going ready. all day long yeah. though. So many group play matches to start the day and of course later we will get to a 16 team double elimination bracket. Yeah. Only two teams will advance from each group. Team. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say two teams. Are, we're doing all bunch of pool play right now. Two teams will come out of each one of those respective pools. It's eight teams of four essentially and then we'll go into a bracket, double elimination, 16 team bracket at some point tomorrow, right? It's going to be good, yeah. man. It's yeah, gonna, I'm excited for it. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, let's talk a little bit about some of the teams we're going to see this week and who are you most excited for? I think, you know, like I would be remiss to not bring up Strictly Business, right? They played absolutely phenomenal in Orlando for the U.S. regional qualifiers to get here. Yeah. They beat Complexity, which as you know, like past 10 or 11 events, they finished first or second, you know, second only twice, right? Right. Um, eight, eight of those those 10 land events yes. they've won. So it, it, that's a crazy, you know, they picked up Karma. He was two events in, so first and second outside of Clacer going to Optic. So I do like Strictly Business. I think a lot of people that might have passed them up in Orlando have got their eyes on them now. I mean, you have to, right? Uh, Epsilon looking good. They fell a little short in Europe, but that's a strong team. They're in the pool with Optic Gaming. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually, after casting Australia, kind of want to root for uh, Immunity. You know, those guys are really good, fun to watch. I'm going with T1, T1 Daughters, Daughters yeah, the team that say. dethroned they Immunity. Beat them, which, uh, like, Immunity hadn't dropped a land since like Black Ops 2 or something crazy like that, right? Right, yeah. Uh, so that was a big feat for, for T1 Daughters to come out here. So that's just some of the different teams that I'm looking at all across the board. I mean, I, it's going to be a fun weekend. I think we got to give a shout out to the French squads as well. Yes. Vitality has two teams competing this week, and Vitality returns, who of course got the upset over Millennium yeah. that no one saw coming. Big shocker there. They're a team to look out for, but Vitality rises is going to be my that, squad to look out yeah. for. Gataga, he's basically the Nate shot of France for yep. all of you American fans huge, tuning in. Huge YouTube following, really big player, very successful history. I mean, yeah, big deal. It, it Broken, Carnage, yeah. uh, Diablo tank now playing underneath the name Blue, but basically the same squad that fell short last year in Black Ops 2. After that event, they said, they swore, we're never teaming together. Guess what? A year later, they know that they need each other. That's the best chance that France has finishing boys will in be the boys, top four. Huh, man. No, that's that's a good pick. And then complexity. What do you think of that? I think uh, so. We have uh, strictly business versus vitality returns. You know, as we were talking about those teams. But what do you think about complexity with all these things that kind of happen? All right, complexity. Yeah. You you look at this squad. Last year they played with two quick. The same yeah. core three though. Too Quick was replaced after they finished fourth. They fell last game, game five, to Optic Gaming. Scumpy went huge and shut them out. So. Did, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Codstats reported that he was he did the highest amount of slaying. Is he in number one for overall kills and slaying? Scumpy? Yeah, he's on, looking, on his average. He's yeah, really high, yeah. High, so okay. I mean, he did a great job. But so many great players to watch this weekend. We have incredible matches on our Xbox main stage all day long. And right now, Justine is down on the floor. That's right, I am down here on the show floor and soon these bleachers will be filled with fans to watch all of the action that is happening here. Behind me is our Xbox main stage where we're minutes away for our teams to face off here. We have Strictly Business and Vitality Returns. So I am super excited to see this. Last year was so much fun, but this year it's gonna be bigger and better and I cannot wait for you guys. So stay tuned and I'm gonna kick it back up to the guys at the booth and we're gonna start the show.
All right, and we are so ready to gear up this for this first match. Strictly business, Vitality returns. Was you pumped? Yeah, we're starting out like a, a blockbuster matchup right here to kick off the morning. I am pumped. I will, this is this is some natural coffee for me right here. It's gonna be solid. So look at the stage, man. This is beautiful. The Xbox main stage, man. I want to play in that. It's going to be yeah. great. Well, we got to take a look back back at 2013. What happened with Call of Duty Black Ops 2? All of the matches kicking off here to start the day. Strictly business and Vitality returns. I've never dreamed like a tournament this big for a million dollars. So just being here today is so surreal. Being in Hollywood and getting paid to come out here, it's just it's almost like a dream come true, really. The best 32 teams in the world, it's just crazy. The atmosphere is ridiculous. It's like everyone is determined to win, so everyone's getting hyped. Farika looks so strong yeah. all day long. He does still have that Hellstorm. He's going to make it rain and close this game out in fashion. Farika Impact takes game number one. It's a hard tournament. There's a lot of teams, a lot of competition internationally. You got people from all over the world. Everyone has the potential to win. I mean, if they did it, they wouldn't be here. This was one for the ages. This is going to go into the history books of Call of Duty, I'll tell you that. Pain versus immunity. Jaso has not died yet, Hasho. He has 10 consecutive kills and a stealth chopper. Pain Gaming looking so strong as we pull up the scoreboard here. That's going to be all she wrote. Those guys are just relentless. You're going to get so much more other than prize money if you were to win this event. Everybody's coming out here trying their best. I know nobody's going to give it up easy. Well, I think the biggest surprises were probably VVB coming back. It was such an incredible series going up against Killerfish. First kill is scored by Dito. He's on a four kill streak. That was his 11th in this game. He's going to take down Theory here and let Theory turn oh. around, and he does. The Remington and VVV is fired up. That was the upset, the comeback of the day. A lot of teams that you would expect not to be knocked out by this time of the tournament have actually been eliminated. This is a million dollars. Everybody's watching this. I honestly cannot wait for the grand finals. And, you know, maybe we'll walk away with this million dollars. After an international tournament here, we saw the best teams in the world compete, and it came down to Farico Impact versus Team Envious, and we couldn't expect a better matchup here today. Envy Squad playing phenomenal here. Jacob oh, desperately trying to get back into this halfway, get it contested. Gonna see the second as well. Is he gonna get a kill? Yes, oh, he oh, is! Oh, oh. Farico starting to come alive here. Rambo picks up a nice kill. Oh, oh Michael Jordan up in this oh, place. Oh, he's got another one! They do the impossible. They oh, beat Perico on hard point. God. What an amazing matchup. We are going to a game 11. Look at miracles, man. He is fired up in there, just going loud. <laughs> Get the team pumped up, smiling. Maybe these two teams want to give away any pointless kills. And now they're going to breach bang and clear here to go for the defuse. They got to find Rambo down. Oh. They find him. Farico is one yep. round away from winning the championship. Envy has to win this round in order to stay in it. Miracle one up. Two. Ruby has to go for the defuse He's here. He's done it. He's going to get it. He's going to get it. He does it. We have oh, a real champion. The champion. Rico Impact is undeniably the best team in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 right now, and there is not a more deserving champion. All right, so there was a look at Black that was a good Ops year, 2, man. Scott Champs. Yeah, that was great. Farico Impact ended up winning that. It's crazy to even think that three of the four players from that Impact squad aren't even here. That's right. You know, That's Call nuts. of Duty Ghost, a brand new game, new players shining already. Curse Las Vegas, that is the former Farico Impact team. 
they were eliminated yeah, at the U.S. Championship. Which was like a, kind of a jaw dropper, to be honest with you. No one saw both of those cursed teams that were really strong in New York and Vegas, like, not make it. You know, like, they're kind of mind-boggling, to be honest with you. Well, Envy is back, the team that sure lost to them. Yeah. Rambo, the only player from that starting lineup, that though. That meltdown search and destroy, though, from last year against Impact and Envy is, is definitely one that goes in the record book. So, Envy's going to try to take another stab at it. Second place is pretty good. You, I mean, you're still taking home $200,000 in second place. You're not, like, falling too short, but certainly Envy is who in their history have been known to finish second in a lot of these big events. Not to say that they haven't won some too, but they're kind of notorious from it, and you're wondering with a new squad if they're able to maybe break that curse and, and, and come out. It would be a, a surprise. I don't think a lot of people have Envy to win it all, but they definitely can. Man, they brought Merck over from Optic Gaming. Yeah. They got Study, just at 18 years old, a new Young player in God <laughs> Champs. He'll be a slayer to look out for today. But of course, with all of our teams, broken up into eight different groups, right. four teams in each group, two will advance from that. So. Yeah, so you, exactly, eight, eight, eight groups, four teams in each one, two advance from it. I mean, we've got some good ones, like the Strictly Business Vitality Returns. We've got Envious and TEC, what we were talking about. We've got FaZe versus SK Gaming later on. I mean, these pools are like, you know, they're, obviously it's the best teams in the world. They're, they're all gonna be good, right? It's gonna be great. And of course, right here on the main stage, this is the Alpha broadcast. But yes. We have three other broadcasts going on simultaneously we have bravo charlie and delta and of course for the first time today we are going to have twitter polls and I our first twitter one polls. is ready for us Fwiz. which team's going to win domination so is it going to be strictly one. business or vitality returns game number one domination who's going to pull that one out who do you think's going to get on top of this in the in the global twitter poll I because i know I, there's so many french fans I out know, there that's cheering the thing. on and vitality it's, returns it's the time zone thing's a real thing they're up they're ready to watch this so uh you know we probably are going to go more strictly business as as North American casters, and they did really well U.S. But I, I think the French are going to show up in the polls, man. I don't know. We'll see. So use we'll your see. hashtags, guys. Yeah. Get your votes, and we'll be displaying the results a little bit later on. I'm so excited for yeah. this matchup. The number one seed going up against one of the best from France. Let's throw it on down to the floor with the beautiful Justine. And we're here, the Xbox main stage. I am so excited because we've got an amazing matchup today. We've got Strictly Business, who it was kind of a surprise because everyone was expecting Complexi to come in here on top, but they knocked them out. So they are the number one right here. So I'm so excited. We're gonna have Vitality Returns and very soon behind us, the Xbox main stage will be kicking it off here and we'll send it back up to the guys to get things started. All right, I'm thank ready. you, Justin. Enough opening shenanigans. It's time to get some matches going, isn't Fwiz it? Fizz wants to I'm see ready, this man. domination. Let's get up in it. That's right. Now, Fizz, we have uh, five game modes yes. in every single match, or five game, five game, game yeah. types. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three different game modes, domination, blitz, and search and destroy. Right. So we're kicking off every series with a domination game mode. Game number two will always be search and destroy. Blitz number three, back to dom, and then finish on SND one more time. So domination. Yep. If you can be a solid squad on this game type, you can potentially win two of the, the three needed yeah, in every single round. You know, I mean, there's a lot of teams that are, are very strong in Search and Destroy. It's obviously two out of the series. If you ever get to a game five, you know, that's how you close it out, right? But you really have to be a strong slaying team. And when you're coming against some of these best players in the world, that's really what they're good at. I mean, you look at a complexity squad that has been very successful. People would not call them the strongest Search and Destroy team, but they are very strong slayers. So uh, that, that can change everything, obviously, on a domination game type. It's going to be good in uh, just a moment away we will meet our teams the number one squad advancing from the yeah. u.s championship going up against france's number two team from the european finals what's your prediction here friend i i mean look like it's totally bandwagon to jump on like with strictly business but uh um, you want to jump on i i am i'm on it i'm on it i'm i got up on it Believe so in that, um right? yeah you know i wasn't able to go down to orlando so i got to watch and it's really fun you know like it's a different perspective from casting you get to watch all the matches you kind of have a different eye on it when you're, you're just focusing on watching and uh they were impressive dude and even when i was watching dito play in columbus in november right. i was like he is killing everything in his sight. And I'm like, this he's hes going to be on a big team. It you was know, a matter of time. I mean, somebody had to take a risk on him. Remember when he was scrimming with Optic for a little bit? He did Dino really well was, there. Dino was the pickup yeah. for, our, for VVV, actually, last yeah. year at COD Champs. And he finished in the money there. He's, he's Dude, he does a good job, man. He does a good job. But now you got some young guns. You got Sensor, you got Saints, and you got Apathy well, yeah, on this Sensor's strictly business Sensor's won a national line. championship, you know? And Apathy's like, he's a really underrated, objective, like, selfless player, you know? And, like, every team needs the selfless 
first player that's like, I'm going to play in favor of the team instead of just getting in the zone and slaying everything. It's the guy that's like able to think clearly what everything's happening. And I, I think he really is an underrated player. Now winning first, you know, how could you really consider him underrated? Probably not. But prior to that, he definitely was, you know? If you missed game number two between Strictly Business and that complexity lineup from the U.S. Yeah. Championship, get on YouTube.com slash MLGCon and watch it again because Apathy and got round all the replays number on eight that day, yeah. got a ridiculous ace to turn that series around and totally get that team fired up. Yep. Speaking of Strictly Business, it's time to meet our squad. Let's check out the boys wearing purple today from SB. They, they, they rock that purple out real well. All right, so here they are. Let's bring them out. Strictly Business, we have Sensor, Saints, Apathy, and your man, Dito Fwiz. You yeah. excited for these guys? I am, dude. I think, like, this team's ready. They put a lot of effort into it. Um, you know, Sensor's made some sacrifices to make sure that he's able to focus more on playing. So you got to give it up to that squad. They're, again, very talented. And the thing what's interesting with them, like, the cat's out of the bag. They're not going to fool anybody now like they might have been able to do in U.S. where people were, like, you know, like, maybe not take them as serious as they should. That's There's no way that's going to happen now, champs. And they have to know that that pressure is on them. And, and I'm interested to see how they kind of square up against that. Well, they're going up against one of France's best. Let's hear it for Vitality Returns. Azox and Agony, two really superstar slayers to look out for. They've been playing with some of the best in Europe for a while. In fact, Agony was known as one of the best Black Ops 1 players in all of Europe back when so he was playing It's an OG right there. That's an OG. He was, he was lighting it up. And I remember these guys just getting nasty picks off of head glitches. You can yep. barely see the opponent. No problem. Able to just super fast. That clean AR AC, shot, man. Hit that headshot That's going to That's going to pay him pay big if they're able to keep it down all weekend. No doubt about it. Who would have thought having a really good AR shot could net you 100 grand in one weekend? Big, big Time, Times matches. are changing, man. It, yeah. Call of Duty Esports. The it. real Love it. deal. Our first match getting kicked off here. Strictly Business Vitality returns. France versus the United States to start I, the day, and this is just match number one. That's what, the, like, my favorite thing about COD Champs, you know, obviously it's a big pool, there's a lot of things, but I really like the, you know, the kind of the countries, you know, going going at it one another and, and really figuring it out. It has kind of like an Olympics vibe to it, so I dig that. You and know. the play styles, yeah, totally different very from different region play styles. to region. Like, you know, some of the French players like to be pretty aggressive and, and pull out pistols. Like, some of that, it, it, you don't even, you're not even used to seeing it, and players, right. uh, especially from North America, might not be used to, like, such a aggressive pushes because to them it's like kind of baffling like it's so so aggressive that they would you know argue that it might be foolish right. however they, it works right so it's uh it's interesting to see kind of that go go heads up now this is something i want you to think about so strictly business kind of caught a lot of the top american teams off guard with their yeah. overly aggressive play style at the u.s championships the french squads that's how they play yeah day to day that's why it's going to be a really good match to watch dude Right? Yeah. How close is this going to be? The players getting set up in the booth, making sure they have all their classes look, ready. I love it, man. Actually, like, look at that, dude. <laughs> that main. They're ready to stage. roll in there. Yeah, they're getting set up in here, and we're going to kick that first match off, and and it, it'll officially have begun here. So talking about domination, of course, game number one, we ask you for your polls. Keep those coming yep. in, guys. Get your votes in with your hashtag, Strictly Business or Vitality game Returns. Game one, domination. going to take this one in game one. But domination, let's, uh, let's talk about it for a little bit of the new fans out there, guys tuning in to Call of Duty Esports for the first time. How does this game type work, and, and what's the secret to success in Dom? Yeah, so, you know, there's there's three flag points, right? You start off at your respective sides. You, you essentially want to cap as many points as you can, uh, always holding at least two, right? We play five minutes on each side, and the team with the total points from both sides will win the match. Now, the reason that the, the, they're flipped every five minutes is, like, the maps are obviously not symmetrical, and there are more favorable sides to be on on spawn. So right. you'll see that. That's why we do the switch, but you'll also see teams sometimes aggressively try to go grab the original spawn on home flag so that they can take that. So if you're on A and you think the C side is better, you will make an aggressive push to try to take the C flag, sacrifice your A, and then go for two. So uh, that that's the name of the game here. At the end of the day, it's the most points wins. Yeah, so and of course, uh, to break it down even farther, for every five seconds of flag capture that it's you have, point. you're going to get one point. Right. So if you have two caps and you hold for five seconds, then you get two points from that. That's right. correct. And if you're holding two and your opponent has one flag for all five minutes, you're going to score 60. So if you see any scores above 60, that means that they have either neutralized a flag and right. stopped their opponent from getting scores, or that they were able to capture three flags. So 
And you do see that, getting dominated. I mean, especially if somebody team wants to lay it on thick, they will do that. And it's going to be exciting yeah. because that is one of Strictly Business's strongest strengths, is they love to get inside the opponent base and neutralize it, and that forces the enemy to go back, it and then they just take over too. map domination. You know, like, you, you start spawning in different places, and then what happens is ultimately as a player, you feel like they're everywhere, right? You feel like you're kind of like, it's like where, like, everywhere I go, these guys are at. So uh, it's a good tactic, I feel like, to really lay it on and then, like, put your team, you know, the other team to submission. If you go in in the half and you're like da down 40 points, like that's demoralizing. P you know, you can come back, right? If you by a deficit, but uh, it's quite the feat, you know, and like when you have five minutes to do it, there's a lot of pressure. So winning that first half and like really putting it on the team is, is a big part. Gotta go big, Gotta man. go big, gotta Who, go big. Who's your player to watch from Strictly Business? I'm gonna go with Sensor, honestly. Sensor, yeah, the yeah, OBJ player? Yeah, you know, he's won a national champion. Like, the guy's won at, at a big stage, right, at an MLG event. So, like, he's got, he definitely has LAN experience. Now, this is, without a doubt, the biggest thing he's ever participated in. Yeah. Certainly the most pressure that's on him, so it's not the same. But uh, he's got experience. That squad can really do some good things. So, I'm looking for him to be, like, the level-headed leader that, you know, makes sure the squad stays together, doesn't get too hard on themselves, gets them pumped up, and... Uh, I, I really, I got my eyes on him, man. 19-year-old Doug Martin, zero Doug player Martin, to watch. Man, yeah. Saints was our, our key player from Strictly Business at beast. the U.S. Championship. He had one of the best kill-to-death ratios, always getting more kills than he would deaths in every single game. Yep. At times, he would just take on two, three opponents with the same clip in his MTAR yeah. and wipe <laughs> all of them out. Yeah, he's nasty. I think he's going to be my slayer to watch. Of course, Dito also going to be in that kill mix. But Apathy, he's the X factor. Yeah, that's what we were talking about, right? I mean, that's that, that's the, the the player I would consider like a self objective kind of player that's going to make sure that the job's getting done while the, while the boys are out there slaying. But if you see Sensor going big in the kill column, you know everything is going great because well. he's all about those captures. On the other side, a player I'm looking for a massive kill column from is Agony. Yeah, you, you're a big Agony fan. Huh? I got to see yeah. him. I got to see him again. He's the veteran on this squad. You know he's going to be leading this team. He's going to be the vocal leader fired in the game up as too, well. Yeah. Always getting intense. And it's good. That, that kind of, again, it's the being fired up, getting aggressive, getting your blood flowing, your heart rate up that just like gets things going. And uh, he can very easily do that for that squad. And one player I haven't seen enough of is Get Some. I want to see what he get, brings. First to of all, the that name's great, right? right? Come you know, get some. Come get some. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man. It's a big match. It's a big match. I would love, as much as I'm, I'm like, you know, I think Strictly Business is gonna win. I would love to just see uh, just a huge upset to kick things off. Because no huge matter what, upset. It, I would consider a huge upset. It's the number one team you know, coming out of the U.S., you know, so uh, it would be an upset in my mind. All right, it's going to be good, man. Of course, this is group play, so it's just the first match right, for these right, teams. Right. They will still have to play the other two squads yep. in their group, but this one is arguably between one and two. Officially, I think Vitality Returns is coming in as the, the third highest seed in this group, yep. but a lot of people are considering them the second best squad behind, stri uh, behind Strictly Business. So right. if Vitality Returns can take that number one seed out, they will have a great, great opportunity of winning their pool, which would put them in the one through eight seed coming into yeah, that bracket this is play. Yeah, this is a, obviously a big roadblock for them. If they can start off the tournament, you know, like giving Strictly Business a loss right off the get-go, I mean, they're, they're, that's like scary, right? Strictly All, Business didn't lose other, a match at the U.S. Yeah, Championship. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> so crazy, isn't it? Why, why start now, I guess, is they're going to be their mentality. It's going to be good, man. Can't wait to get it going. Players gearing up, ready to go. Of yep. course, we are on the Xbox One for this event. Going to be using broadcast remote up here in the booth. And something Love special it. that the guys at Infinity Ward have included for the first time is the Oracle mode and broadcaster. Oh, dude, the broadcast mode is, like, super legit. I love that because it's good. You know, for commentators, sometimes we uh, – we might we might see stuff going on and, and miss it uh, or miss it, you know, with the the Oracle, like you see these engagements about to happen. So I dig it. It's a great feature added onto it. It's going to be solid. Can't wait to get this one started. Best of five to start the day. Of course, but remember, we have three other broadcasts going on. Yep. The Bravo. Charlie and Delta streams in. and Fwiz, who are uh, some of the casters joining us oh, this week? Oh, dude, weekend? we got we brought out the whole crew, didn't we? I was like, I, it was fun. We've got Maven we got ten here, of us Golden here. Boy, Benson, Pricey, Rel. I mean, we got Hashos back in the building. Bioacid is coming over yeah, from Australia for the first yeah, time. The whole crew. 
Mr. Um, X and Maven as well. Mr. X, yeah. So we're going to uh, – let's jump in this game, Puckett. It looks like uh, – It's we, a free-for-all. we got a free-for-all just warming just up. Just give me the controller. As, I'm going to warm as up. As soon as the players are ready. You want to crush this? <laughs> yeah. You want to get in on that, Let me, let me get all in this. All right, I'm going to let you get those headshots. Don't tell anybody. We'll keep talking. All right. Well, game number one time. is going to be a few minutes away as the players are getting ready. Uh, of course, you can tweet at Fwiz, and I'm, I'm at MLG yeah. Puckett. He's at Fwiz. Let, I, let us know, man. Who I is your player to watch some, in I this? encourage some people, if they had school around on spring break, to know, like, this is the one day that maybe you can be a little sneaky in school. Maybe grab that phone up. Don't get it taken away. Study hall. Save it for study yeah. hall. Or math. That's fine. <laughs> you know, just this one day, though. Just this one time. But a lot of people are on spring break, so it's cool. So, it's some, as I said earlier, a lot of, yeah, we want to lot see of funny your... pictures. Yeah, hashtag COD champs, though. Use hashtag COD champs. Those are the ones I pull because we pull them out of the feed, you know. Um, but there's some really, there's some really good ones. Yeah, gotta, we, gotta love the community, man. They're they're very creative to say the least. We want to see your setups. How are you watching the Call of Duty Championship presented by Xbox today? What teams do you expect to get into that final eight, winning a piece of that million dollar prize pool? And who are some of your favorite players to watch? We'll get try and give you some special shout outs throughout the show. Yeah. So our first map, Domination, still waiting to see what map it's actually going to be. Sensor's refusing to set it up right now, probably. He's, he's got, he had to go finish his weights in the gym real quick. He's got like he got uh, five more sets, and then we'll be able to start it, you know? I was looking. I was like, him and Buzzo, are, f Buzzo from Immunity, of course, some of the scariest-looking gamers ever. Just veins They're not, they don't look like, they they don't don't look like their us. shirts. I'm like, right, man. dang, bro. I am, I am mad at you. I don't know what you're doing in Long Island, but, you're but, but you're just, that's too much protein. Eight, eight years younger and you would beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> please please don't hurt us. I'm like, man, I can't even stretch. And then you got you got sent that these guys are flexing out in the gym before they go. I love it, man. I love it. So, yeah, again, you know, guys, you know the drill. All of you uh, seasoned vets that watch esports out there, always waiting for the game to set up. It's a... It's, it's a, it, we've become accustomed to it over the years, haven't we? You know, sometimes you just got to wait on those players to get ready. But you don't want to go into a million-dollar tournament. No, cold. that's you what I'm saying. You got to get your hands warm, it, right? In fairness to them, although I know we, we are like, come on, go. And I know you guys out there are like, let's go with the matches. The match. But you, it is fair. When you're playing with that much money on the line, you're playing on a setup that's not yours, right? I mean, anytime you go to a land, it's a, it's a setup. They try to obviously replicate it as much as they can at home if they're able right. to. But uh, you never really can fully until you get here set up. Uh, they've got the, the soundproof headsets down on there so you, you obviously can't hear team communication between right. one another they run an earbud underneath it for game audio so it's the, the headset over it is basically like white noise cancels out all the sound form the earbuds that go in is actual gameplay and team chatter between one another uh, so just kind of getting like acclimated all of that takes a little bit and uh you got to have patience for it, even though I really struggled to do so. All right, let's read through some of these groups here, Fwiz. And Group A, which is what we have here on our main stage on the Alpha broadcast to start the day. Strictly Business, number one seed yep. coming into it. Sublime, the team uh, that was formerly Inferno coming over from Italy. And then we have Vitality Returns, of course, from France. And then you have the South African team, Team Rise ZA. Yeah. So we'll see who comes out on top of that one. Honestly, I think it's going to be the two teams that are in the booth right now on that Xbox main stage. Is that who you're picking out of this group? I am. Yeah. I, I really feel like these are going to be the two strongest it's a squads solid prediction. In, in, in Group A. Yeah. But, but Group B, another really interesting one. I know this is starting over on the Bravo broadcast. That's going to be Complexity, Real All-Stars, Vex Revenge, and Team Orbit. Now, Vex Revenge, they were the number one team coming out of Canada. I saw them in our last weekend's 5K. This squad looks so good. They actually got beat by Complexity. That's the only reason they took an early exit from the bracket. Yeah. And then Orbit and All-Stars. Orbit, of course, from the UK. All-Stars from Netherlands and throughout Europe. Two very vicious squads. And that's who for. Complexity play, plays real All-Stars here up next on Alpha, right? After this match, I yeah. believe. Yeah. So that's uh, if you are waiting to watch Complexity play, they're going to play against real All-Stars next match. You can see how they face off against one of the best squads yeah, in yeah. all of the other ones. Uh, and then Group C continuing through. Team Caliber is going to be the top seed in that one. Going up against Shane and the Lightning TK Pandas. TK All Day. I know there's some TK All Day fans TK out there. TK All Day. Yep. Of course, they've I never I love that placed. organization. TK, Team Caliber has never finished outside of the top four. They're hungry for that win. In they, any of their yeah, turns. Yeah, they want that win. I know they were so bummed at MLG. You know, like, it looked like they were going to be able to pull that one out. And um, they, they obviously were not able to do it. So I just, that team is so hungry. They've gotten so close. I'm just, it'll be, and they, again, you talk to those. I think they're also, although they, you say top four, you know, like the past couple events, they still, I would consider to be an underrated team. You know, like, people count them out 
far too often. So I'm looking to see if, they, like, look, they can come through. That team is more than capable of beating anybody on, I hate to say it, on any given championship Sunday, you know? They have Formal on the yeah. squad now, who is a Formal champion and other FPS is making yeah. his move to Call of Duty for the first time this year and already one of the top slayers in the game. Keep your eye on him. We'll also see Wild Gaming and Rain Mix joining White and Pandas in TK in that group. And then Group D, FaZe, SK Gaming, Trident T1 Daughters, and Aztec Gaming from Mexico. But Fwiz, it looks like our Alpha group is Don't ready to me. go. The it first be. game is getting loaded up. We're going to be headed to Freight for some domination. We talked about the game mode before. There's three flags. You want to control at least two to give yourself the upper hand there. Yeah, you, you need two. And you domination, know. extremely fast-paced game mode. But Freight, it's one of the larger maps. Do you think we're going to see for submachine guns like we see on, on Strike Zone and, nah, and Sovereign you, you, at times? There'll be or? some ARs. I mean, yeah, B, AR. B gets messy. You can smoke B out, right? But, like, you know, shooting out top green and the bottom brew, like, it gets, it can, there's long lines of sight, especially looking outside of Porter. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, you will. I mean, it's going to be some SMGs, though. You know, the, the MTAR is definitely the name of the game on Freight. Well, looking through, we All got four, four SMGs. MTARs to yeah. start here for our Ghost Squad. That's going to be strictly business, our Federation lineup. There's one. Azox, get some Dilux and Agony, and it looks like Dilux. Dylux, the only one running the Remington. He's going to go for A. Let's jump on board with Azox, though. Coming off the spawn, he's going to smoke out the middle of his life, and he's going to get right into the action. All right, if you're on board with Azox, quickly Ooh. taken out there. That's going to be at the hands of Saints as we sweat, switch on board with Get Some. We definitely love his name, no doubt about it, as he's looking around fire to see if he can see anybody over here. Shots coming in through the door as now they're just trying to get a good setup. Knock some kills out before you pick up a good beat here. And Shots being fired oh. picks up another one, so Get Some taking out Dito right there. And that's going to be three down there as only Agony was up for a quick second. It's going to allow for Strictly Business to make a push. They indeed are on B right now, so let's see if Agony's able to knock him off. He switched over to the vector but it's not enough Dito shuts him down let's go to Dito here from Strictly Business and I'm gonna turn on the orbital mode uh, for the first time here you can now see those are the opponents that the uh, player of course cannot see himself only we can as spectators and sensor is gonna have his hands full two players coming through this middle building one spot up top. nice headshot there getting concussed he will go down but Saints continues to add to the kill feed here's another one Oh, nice pickup by Saints. Kind of just fell right in his lap there. Now Saints is going to help secure B. They do have it as he grabs an AR. He's going to grab up the MTAR, picks up some shots. Not able to connect there as Agony was able to take him out, but we quickly switch on board with Sensor, who does not see him. I don't know if Saints didn't do the call out there. Or he thought it was somewhere else, but was not able to connect. Apathy taking somebody on top crates, looking around B. As they do know, they're starting to lose Ooh. it. Shots being put in there. Hit markers registered, but they were not able to pick up the kill, and it looks like they are going to indeed be able to grab back B. It was short-lived. Uh, for Agony and the crew. Now, if you're a, a new spectator here for Call of Duty Esports, make sure you pay attention to that scoreboard. Of course, we have Strictly Business currently playing as the Ghost, but they will switch at the half. But you can always tell what team you're following along with. Right now, the Ghost is lit up at that blinking icon. When I switch over to the Federation here as we go over to Get Some, you can see that one will be lighting up. Right now, Get Some going for this C flag. B has been taken and C was neutralized. So. Uh, Vitality Returns was not getting any points. Azox, meanwhile, on the opposite side, recaptured C. So they have A and C yeah, control. They, Strictly they, Business is going to be forced to go one direction. Yeah, they, one direction. Yeah, they, they've split the map, no doubt about it. And uh, it, it's interesting. They're going to lose, inevitably, one of these. So you've got to make sure this is a great opportunity when you split the map to focus on trying to get B. As you do see, uh, Strictly Business is behind enemy lines, going ahead and going to grab that C away from them. Ooh. It looks like they should be able to secure it. Sensor indeed does grab that. So now back Back in business, C and B capped with A going to uh, Vitality. While they got that two cap, though, returns caught up. 41 to 34. This is still a very close game. Two minutes, 15 seconds still to go. And Dito already breaking into double digits with two captures. Sensor trying to add to his kill feed. There's an engagement. Wasn't able to finish it. And it looks like that player now will be continuing to try and hunt down. It's get some versus Sensor in the one-on-one. -on -one, and now Sensor's got his buddies. They're going for A. Sensor laying it down, put the trophy system out here. He's going to start to pick it up. They do. They're trying to make some moves here and see if they grab it. As you called out, it looks like some action is going down at C. Sensor finally going to be able to hold this one. But he's taking out the last second. He did not get that pick up there. I don't believe he did. No. no so he's able just to neutralize. just neutralize A just seconds short of grabbing it at, uh, at the flag. But now it looks like they were able to clean it up and pick it up. Agony right here. Going to get some shots in. So Vitality again holding A and C as Sensor was not able to make it happen. 54 to 44 with a minute and 30 seconds left at the half. This is still a close game, Pocket. Yeah, very nice placement of the trophy system. Unfortunately, Agony taken down.